Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Short video today, just very briefly going through what sort of settings you might quickly want in the actual in-game menu for uh, compatibility with VATSIM. Uh, so we're just buzzing around the fjords at the moment in Norway, uh, just north of Bergen. Um, and we're going to check it out while we're flying over here. So if you're new to the channel, do click like and subscribe as well. And be sure to check out our scheduled live streams and the entire VATSIM tutorial mini-series to try and help you get started on the network and uh, let me know in the comments if you find this useful so you've set up vpilot you've got your vatsim account all ready to go and you've got your username and password and you can't wait to get connected you've watched the tutorials uh, on my channel and you're thinking well, okay well what what's next so before you actually spawn the flight you of course want to be in a position where you're ready to connect to the vatsim network so the first things you need to do is go into flight conditions Live weather and uh, time isn't really too much of an issue, but you need to make sure that multiplayer is off and air traffic is completely off as well. Let's take a look at the settings. So, in the settings menu you want to go to general, traffic, aircraft type, aircraft traffic type, off ground aircraft density off and this one will clear all of your ground clutter if you like all of the aircraft sat randomly on stands that never do anything make sure that's on zero as well and one thing I also like to do is turn airport vehicle density down a little bit as well so you don't get loads of AI aircraft driving all over the airfield getting in the way whilst you're on the network uh, not that anyone else can see it of course uh, but it can get frustrating that's it click apply and save and that folks is literally it. Once you've got all of the setup correct on vPilot itself, uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos covering that of course. Make sure you've got those settings that we've just explained all ready to go and spawn in, connect to the network. Uh, if it's going to be your first flight make sure you don't tick the observer box. I hope you found the video useful, nice short and sweet of course uh, as they try and usually be on the channel. Be sure to click subscribe and if you've enjoyed the video as well, give us a like down below too. Let me know how you get on in the comments and if you've not done so already, be sure to check out my VATSIM tutorial playlist and read the descriptions for those videos and you'll find some handy free PDF documents as well. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon for a live stream in the near future.